Hello everyone, my name is Zendirius and welcome back to another Magic Arena video. In this video, we're going to be doing the last popper for the week. If my head counting is correct, this will do the last popper for this week. And here's the deck. Four Fungal Infection, four Hired Poisoner, two uh, Blade Brand, four Burglar Rack, two costly plunder, two moment of craving, two sovereign spite, two vicious offering, two uh, four death bloom thalid, one mine rock because it's all I got, four sky march blood letter, uh, four ill gotten inheritance, and two feral abomination. So, and then 23 swamps. Based off of the deck that beat my is it popper, uh, I realized that black has some interesting draining capabilities and I wanted to see if maybe I could make a deck. Maybe this deck's good, maybe this deck's not. I'm not sure how I feel about the 23 lands. Maybe I caught one of, cut one of the top end cards, I'm not sure. We will see. We have Sheep Toast here as an opponent and uh, they're gonna feel the wrath, I guess. Um, if they have a Healer's Hawk or Atlanta War Elves, they're going to feel my wrath. They are going to feel at instant speed. They have an opt. Okay. So they're going to be on the card draw. They're going to be very uncomfortable by the Burglar Rat here. So that's fine. We'll get that down right away. No problemo. I'm not sure if I get Sky March Blood Letter down first or the Death Bloom. Death Bloom poses much more of a real threat. So there we go, straight to us. We'll put this down just because it has three attack. Don't you dare. Oh, you son of a bitch. All right. We'll hit him with one, though. Quenching. 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 Hmm. Okay, there's the white. White's very powerful and popper. Um, let's try attacking. Do you think that they resolve another one? Let's see. There we go. No quench, no nothing. No quench, no essence capture, no... Oh, they can't play essence capture because it's popper, but no essence scatter. That's fine. Go ahead. Go get a land. Maybe they even it out with another planes. Do they play a creature? Ooh, Jeskai popper. Hello. Water nodding my creature. Hmm, okay. There's nothing I can really do about that. It's gonna be... Uh, it's my high freaking value dudes, too. Alright. Well, we got another one. One of these will eventually resolve. We got three out of four of them. Stupid fungal infection catching up the triggers here. I doubt they play anything with one defense at this point. So fungal infection is gonna have to be a combat trick at this point. Oh my freaking god. Why? What are what are you trying to do? Are you even do you even have bro, do you even have a deck? No. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even tell you how frustrated I am. Do they run? Oh, they do run creatures. They run that stupid thing. If I have Fungal Infection it, I can get it down to four defense. It's not going to be enough. Four defense and three creatures. Oh my god. Huh. It has to attack. I don't want to upkeep stop. No blocks. I'll take it this time. What you got in your hand there, huh? Oh, dirty. That's dirty. I don't like this. My turn. Of course, the swamp talk top deck. Oh, I don't know how I'm going to recover from this. I was really hoping for costly plunder or something on the top deck there. Yep. My turn. This fungal infection looking pretty terrible. Go ahead, discard your last card. 
It doesn't have trample. You've got to be kidding me. Come on. Oh my god, disgusting. Alright, so we'll help. We'll hit the rubble belt. Pass to attackers. There's the dumb attacker. Okay, there you go. You gonna counter this too? No? Okay. There's the block. There's the damage. And it lives. Do I want to take another six? Sure, I'll take another six. Uh, not blocking. Oh, great. What do you have? A water knot? Really? You're going to skewer that creature. Oh my god. This is the most frustrating game. Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to bother. They can hit me. Really? Come on. Not, I'm not going to let you resolve that attack. Screw you. Screw you, opponent. God damn, that deck is frustrating. Alright. Off to a very aggravating start. I am tilted. Fully tilted. What do you got to ferry, huh? What you got to ferry? Ooh, ill-gotten. There we go. Got some good drain. Kind of a slow hand, but, you know, it's popper. It's popper, and we get the one drop. Never punished. Hashtag never punished. Doom to center. That's not a good trade for me. Uh, no attack. As we'll let them start the one damage train. Um... Hmm. Yeah, no blocks. No thank you. Watch them buff it up. Ugh. So much regret. Okay. Um. We'll get the Sky March just because the evasion can be nice. Next turn we'll be dropping Ill-Gotten Inheritance. Um, come on. Let me move to attackers here. Do you got something to kill my creature? There we go. Squish the scorpion off to the side there. And we got it over to that. Got the turn over to them. That's what I'm trying to say. Sure, I'll take the block. Uh, could have a fungal infection. They might make me regret it. But I don't know. Hashtag never punished. Am I right? Oh, geez. There it is. <laughs> oh, they got it. They got it. All right. Fair enough. We'll resolve this. Uh, we won't go in for the attack. We'll block the 2-2 zombie. I don't mind trading up to that, I suppose, as long as they don't play anything crazy. I mean, they played Foul Orchard. Oh my god, are, we, are you kidding me? A forced trade with a life gain, okay. Be my, be my guest, I guess. Um, we'll play this. Then we'll Fungal Infection their creature and block with the, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah. Seems fine to me. No problems there. What you got? What you got? You got a thingy. You got a thing. Pass the attacker. Go ahead. Hit me with that zombie. Boom. I got my own combat tricks. There you go. Kapow. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, well, we're getting the mana. We have enough for that. Um, let's Vicious Offering so that way we can swing in here. I would like to get through with some damage, please. There you go. Hey, they took the block, too. Sweet. All right. They're mana screwed, by the way. Very mana screwed. Sure, you can have it. Yep. Get your little token, too. My turn. Lose life. How much is it? Four? Um, don't like the blocks. Don't like the blocks there. Go ahead, opponent. Hmm. Deathbloom does put me in some awkward situations here, but if they attack, I ta I'll take the three. I have no problem with that. No blocks. 
They probably have a fungal infection. I mean, maybe they're just leaving it just to chump the three damage, but what you got? You got another one. Oh, you're a son of a bitch. Opponent! Opponent, you're terrible. Alright. I'll take that. Um, yeah, pass it over to you. No problem. So we'll be able to suck eight life out of them total. So the moment they're at... What? Nine life? I'd probably go for that. So, we're at 20, they're at 15. They can hit us for 6. They're looking at our creature, I don't like it. Resolve, sure. This gives me an excuse to blade brand this and trade up to the 2-2. Two -two. There we go, I get the card draw, perfect. Um, I can... Fungal Infection, let's get rid of their crappers. You have the death touch, so you trade up and you trade equally. I could have killed the other 2-2, two, two, and there's maybe some value in that, but I kind of like what I did. Back up the 20. Burglar Rat, which is fantastic because they're sitting there with five cards in hand. Unable to play anything. There goes their Death Bloom uh, Thalid of their own. Uh, good value generator. All right. There goes my rats. I mean, they pretty much served my served their purpose, other than chump blocking and chipping away one damage, which I doubt they'd be able to do against this opponent. All right, land's not what we want to see. Eight takes twelve mana to pop both, but I mean, they're getting down there. Next turn, they're going to nine, and I can pop one. Um, go ahead. Not doing that this turn. Yep, resolve. Let's see, what do I top deck? A three drop. Do I even bother? Four and one is five, and four is dead. Sure. So they're dead my turn. I think they probably see that. Yep, go ahead. Be my guest. This, <laughs> this is a very unique way to kill someone. Alright, I'll play that out. Why not? Sure. Submit. If they have life gain, I'll be able to play the blood letter. There we go. Maybe I shouldn't have played the land. It's a little disrespectful in hindsight. Totally unnecessary. Because um, I could have played it anyway. I wouldn't have been any consequence. Alright. That was a feels good win. We had a feels bad win, and now we have a feels good win. I like that. Old Gotten Inheritance really putting in the work that game. Especially when we got the second one out there. Just destroying. And having the awkward trades and the death touch. I uh, really like that. Like this hand if we find the mana to get to Ill Gotten Inheritance. There's, uh, there's definitely... There's definitely good value in this card in Popper. I'm liking it. It's the life gain for the black. Alright. We got Burglar Rat. Make them feel uncomfortable about discarding. Maybe they just ditch a land. They ditch a land. They must be doing pretty good on land's end. Alright. Looking like Mono White. Nothing crazy. Hey, that's... That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get in there. Mm, okay, we'll end the turn. Maybe I costly plunder my own thing. That's that's rather annoying, actually. Okay, there we go. There's that, and then I costly plunder my own creature. Submit. Get some good card draw up in here. Okay. Uh, we'll attack. If they block, they're foolish. Congrats! You just made the worst trade deal in all of history. I have severe card advantage over you, even though all I did was kill your creature. 2-3 with flyer. 
Um, I need a creature to kick that up. We'll play the inheritance here. I can take some beatings. I think what I'll do is, let's see, I'll have five. I'll play the blood letter and vicious offering in response to an attack or a block or something. Ooh, that's nasty. Okay. I death bloom Thalid and sacrifice it then. I can't let them have this value. So we'll do this. Yeah. Game severely lagging there. Target a creature. Sacrifice a creature. Submit. Kapawi. Minus five, minus five, and I still get a little 1-1 one, one crapper. Oh, you get a 1-1 one, one crapper too, because that's just how the game works. Alright, we'll be trading one damage back and forth, and I'll be getting my value out of that. Rustwing Falcon being a little annoying with it having a butt and having a good block. But... I have stuff for the air as well. There we go. Do an extra little ping. Play a 3-2 to make you uncomfortable. And I'm not throwing away my token into your falcon. No thank you. Luminous Bonds. Coming in clutch. Always does. Really? You tap out. Really? With my value, you tap out. If you say so, opponent. I won't complain. I could use this just for the card draw, but honestly, I try to... Ooh, that's not good. They don't keep it as a blocker either, I doubt it. Well, there's no lifelink. Here we go. I'll be able to trade with it. I'll take that. So, we got a little fun combat trick as long as they don't Luminous Bonds my creature. Destroy a ta tapped creature, that's fine. It's going to make a little token, pass to attackers. They concede. Alright, they just concede. I mean, I was getting close to being able to pop the enchantment, so. Hmm. I'm surprised they went through the motions of doing that entire turn there. When it looked like they were going to go through with an attack. I mean, I would have killed the Rustwind Falcon. And then them conceding would have made sense. I don't understand why they conceded just then and there. It definitely wasn't looking good for them. I feel like running enchantment removal and popper is high value. Ooh, I like this. More land gets us to the ill-gotten inheritance. We have this annoying little thing, which they will not want to block. So it's probably going to get a lot of, uh, a lot of good stuff. It training, trading with a healer's hawk is just fine in my opinion. So I'll attack. Sure. Go for it. Get rid of your healer's hawk. Cool. End turn. There you go. It doesn't need double death touch. I don't think I need to take a draw. They're looking at my mana wondering if I have some sort of trick. Alright, blue-white. Uh, Sky March looking good here. Alright. No problem. I wonder if they have a combat trick. Ooh. Ah, I don't know how I like that. Two of them is nice, but three of them. God, I, I love the art. Great art. Maybe I should have attacked before the blood letter to try and force the block? I don't know. I kind of like pinging them, though. Love the art on this, by the way, but I don't know about three of them. Three of them seems excessive. Ah, oh, crap. You are a crap. That is what you are. Alright. We get them the discard. It's gonna be a tougher discard. Even Wind Mage goes away. Uh, maybe that's an easy discard. I mean, it's just in there for the flying, I assume. So it looks like they're playing some sort of flyer's deck. Oh, the Knight's Pledge is gonna be brutal. I need... Oh, I'm starting to get down my enchantments, at least. It's something. There you go. I'm going to be gaining life, but they're going to be doing three to me. And it'll take me two more turns to get my other ill-gotten inheritances down, assuming I don't prioritize a flying creature, which may or may not get a stupid thing slapped on it. Um, I mean, we throw in this guy, right? I don't see why not. I don't see why not. There you go. One damage. 
I'm hurting. If I had another swamp, I could try to trick them into killing the wind mage. The yeah, other. Hmm. Five, six. I'm gonna be at seven. So I'm gonna be at one life. It's not over yet, I guess. Ooh, not what I want to see, though. Yeah. Not what I want to see. You gonna essence scatter this guy? Alright. Well, I'll be gaining three, <laughs> three life after they put me to one. Assuming they don't have a spell to play to buff Avon Wind Mage. Right? One, five, six, and I'm at seven. They play a spell, I'm dead. They play an instant or sorcery, I'm dead, and they probably have a combat trick. No? Oh. I mean, what world do I win, though? Uh. I have enough to do that. And put me at eight. Let's me live another turn, I guess. Sure. Let's just see where this takes us. I, I seriously doubt I do anything about this. There you go. Three more damage to you. I'll be at two life. Then I'll be bumped up to four on my upkeep. Right, upkeep? Yeah. Well, I'm dead. Good game, opponent. Good, good game. Well, that does it for the mono Black Popper, unfortunately. There's my two losses. But I mean, there are things in this that are feel-good cards. There, there's definitely potential in the in uh, the color of black. Ooh, interesting. Okay, indestructible and scry one. It's kind of neat on a card. Um, definitely my favorites is the rat and the thick boy popper. Thick Boy is just brutal. It is brutal having those hexproofers. White is kind of just the obvious go-to. Um, and maybe there's things I cut in this to make it better. I mean, for sure there is. But that is all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if there are any other decks you want to see. Um... If this video truly is the end of the Popper Week, I hope you enjoyed po Popper Week. I'm going to say it anyway. I really hope you do. But until the next video, I will see you on the flip side. Bye!